Hi, welcome to Calm in Action. My name is Michael Haig. I'm a senior technical marketing engineer at Nutanix. So are you tired of doing boring, repetitive IT tasks? If so, endpoints and runbooks, which are new features in the Calm 3.0 release, should be really helpful for you. So in a previous video, we covered endpoints, which allows you to define a set of infrastructure in your environment. And now we're gonna dive into runbooks. Runbooks allow you to take those boring, repetitive actions and put them into automation that you can repeatedly run against your infrastructure or endpoints. So let's go ahead and get started. So here I am in Prism Central. I'm gonna go ahead and navigate to Calm and go to the runbook section. So I'm gonna select my Linux example runbook and we're just gonna cover the editor in this video. We're gonna cover other parts of runbooks in the next one. So first up, I wanna cover some new types of tasks. So we see here that it's actually a decision task. And this gives us the ability to split the tree into multiple different types. So this first task is determining whether it's Ubuntu or CentOS. So we see here, we do an LS on Etsy Red Hat release. So essentially if that command is successful, it finds that particular file then it exits as a success or zero. And that's where it goes onto the true tree. If it does not find that file, then the command will actually return a non-zero exit code and we'll do an exit one and go under the false. So that gives us the ability to run different upgrade commands based on the OS. So for CentOS, we see we have sudo yum-y update. For Ubuntu, we have some apt commands. One other thing I want to talk about is that we do have these endpoint dropdowns here and the credential dropdowns. Now these are optional. When we go to execute the runbook, we can plug in an endpoint and essentially it will use that endpoint that we execute the runbook against unless we have it overridden here. So we're going to see an example of why you'd want to do that in just a moment. So next up, we have a reboot task. This is just a basic execute uh, shell script. So you should be used to this if you use Calm before. We now have a delay. So we just plug in 60 seconds and let that VM reboot. And now we have a while loop. So a while loop allows us to have a certain amount of iterations. In this example, we have 10. And we can also have an exit condition if we choose. So this one is a success. We can also do failure or don't care. So let's take a look at what that looks like here under this touch file. So I'm doing an echo command and outputting the iteration macro into a loop file and then doing an if statement. Essentially, if this iteration macro equals six, then I'm gonna break out of this while statement. So we'll see later when we execute this runbook, it will go through seven times and on the seventh iteration, the, the counter, which starts at zero, will equal six, and we'll actually break out and move on to the next task. The next task is an API call. So recall when I said earlier, you can override the default endpoint. So when we actually run this against, say, a CentOS server, for all of the previous tasks are gonna run directly against that default endpoint when we execute the runbook. However, for this one, since we have an endpoint hard-coded, it will always run against this particular endpoint. So this is doing an HTTP GET on a relative URL. If you watch the endpoints video, you will recall that I mentioned keep this beginning part of the URL short because you can then customize it. So, and it also gives you an output of the overall URL, which is really handy. Next, these are just common fields for various API calls. And so we can see here that we're gonna, with a 200 response, we're gonna exit success. So there you have it. A runbook is just a set of tasks to run against a given endpoint. In an upcoming video, we're gonna actually kick these runbooks off and see the results of all the various tasks and components of the runbooks we just viewed. Thanks for your time today.